Hey guys, Mary J on Phantom Stories. So I kind of showed you my filming area set up that I've been working on. So it's looking pretty good. Um, I'm loving it. <laughs> it's kind of weird actually having energy today. So, but originally it's supposed to be like a Phantom of the Opera slash Freddy Cougar. <laughs> Um, shrine, and then I started doing my YouTube channel, so I started to say, hey, this could be a cool backdrop, because it's everything that I love, <laughs> so, yeah, I don't know, it's just weird, because I've been feeling really crappy lately, especially for the past few days, um, it's been really hard to stay up past five hours but for some reason today it's been a little better but I also slept all day <laughs> but even when I sleep all day I'm still like pretty tired out so I don't know how much filming I'll be able to get done today because it's already three I've been up since midnight <clears throat> so we'll see but at least the filming area is done and I kind of like added more stuff <laughs> To it and yeah I don't know that's just weird the simple things that you keep putting off and you finally get around to doing it just it just makes you feel good for some reason so yeah but this is like stuff that I've had over the years so nothing's really new but it's just about changing things around and I don't know I'm just feeling a lot better since I'm like getting my plates more organized because it's been like I said a rough few days uh, with my condition <clears throat> and so getting this all clean and organized is good because there's lots of videos that I want to do and um, yeah I'm usually not up more than a couple of hours so hopefully I won't fall asleep <laughs> but I am getting hungry now so I'm gonna eat and then um we'll see how many videos I could do uh, I still have lots of cooking to do too which kind of sucks but that's why I'm like sometimes even though I feel good sometimes I'm so tired and it still puts me to sleep <laughs> so that's the problem with uh, having a condition. Like, I still have so many files that I gotta work on on my computer to organize and stuff. It's just, I had just been too tired to do anything, literally. <laughs> Which really, really sucks. So, now I'm feeling good that I got the filming area done because even if I do fall asleep, which I probably will in like in the next hour, at least the filming area is done, so then that way when I wake up again, I could, um, do some filming and not have to worry about it. So, at least one thing's out of the way. <laughs> and I got my Point Alice, uh, poster up there now, so that's pretty cool. Now, what do you call? <laughs> I'm always hearing noises. I'm like, what's that noise? And it's usually something that's falling. So yeah, um, pretty good. I was going to do a lot of cooking tonight, but like I said, I'm starting to get tired again. So it kind of sucks. And um, for the GoFundMe page, I have to, I usually have um, a direct, direct deposit form, but for some reason I can't find it. I've been looking for it for like the past hour, so now I'm going to have to go to the bank and get a new one done just for 40 bucks. <laughs> so hopefully more people will uh, donate to my GoFundMe page. Um, so then that way at least it's kind of like I didn't do all that work just for $40. Because <laughs> actually technically... They take some of the money as well, and then it takes like a week just to get, so that kind of sucks sometimes. But <clears throat> some people don't like using email. So yeah, but, but lately I've been 
I guess, struggling too because I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to handle the rest of the month because payday is like still three weeks away and it's like, uh, it's tough and I don't like asking the same people for help over and over again so it's like, that's why I'm going YouTube because like I keep saying, I never asked for help at the beginning of my condition, and this is why I do vlogs throughout the day, so you guys know what my life is like as well. So, you guys can kind of understand why I can't work and why I do this instead, hoping more people will help my living situation and getting out of debt, because I don't want to be in debt forever. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, but, um, I don't know, just all of a sudden, it's weird because I feel so good for, like, half an hour, and then all of a sudden, like, when I first started recording the other video, I was feeling awesome and great, and feel like, oh, I could do whatever I want now for the rest of the night, and I'm just like, having trouble standing, <laughs> so it's like, uh, I gotta go back to bed soon, so it kind of sucks, but I am going to eat first, um, <clears throat> at least I'm not shaking, so that's good, but again, I have an unknown shaking condition and several disabilities, so that's why uh, it's challenging for me to even do daily stuff, but I know I've talked about home care a few times, but um, I'm not qualified for home care, I think, my worker was telling me, because I could still look after myself, and like, I don't need help getting in and out of bed, or if I do, I just sleep <laughs> when it gets to that point, or if I can't shower, then... I just fall asleep and then when I wake up I do shower, but I did take a shower today, so that was good. It's just that I know I only have like five or six hours in between, so it's like I could either take a shower, I could either clean, I could either do this, I could either do that. So I have to make choices to uh, do better, which is why I don't watch a lot of TV anymore either. Um, and the cats I always look after first, so every time I get up, it's the first thing I do is feed them, do their cat litter boxes, and stuff like that. So that's why, just to this filming area, it's taken me like almost two weeks just to like redo everything. Because I had to clean everything down, like all the cupboards, the shelves that I have over here. Because they were so dusty, so I had to do that. And then put everything back, eventually. And then, yeah, it's just... Sometimes it's a hassle, but... Like I said, I feel good, though, now, because it's finally done and out of the way. So now, tomorrow, when I wake up, the first thing that I could do is start filming. So, uh, because there's a lot of videos that I want to do. And I think... People could benefit from and I know like a lot of people keep asking me about doing money videos and dancing videos again because they like they like it too <laughs> which I find it kind of surprisingly but yeah once again the sexy dance videos that I do which I haven't done in a while because of my condition it's the only form of working out that I can do other than cleaning so that's why I dress up because that makes me feel good and then I'm hoping other people will do it too like I say I'm not doing it for attention really it's more for making me feel good because there's only so much I could do <laughs> unfortunately and that's why now like too I don't always have my makeup on and I don't always dress up because Sometimes, some days are easier than others, and sometimes it's really, like this, uh, because of the allergies, it's been hard to wear makeup, but, yeah, so it's, I put makeup on, I feel a little better. 
don't have the energy to really change, otherwise I'd be doing dancing videos, but now I'm just like, no. <laughs> I did this, so this is good enough, so if you're like me and you have a condition and disabilities, just do one thing that you can do, and even if it's just putting makeup on, or getting out of bed, it's just, or just doing the dishes, or... Like, I've been wanting to do this filming area, so I finally did that. But just don't put too much pressure on yourself, is kind of like what I'm trying to say. Because I find that since I've been like that, then life has been a little easier. Because I'm like, yeah, I have to sleep every five hours. But I like sleeping because I got my cats. <laughs> so they sleep with me. And I don't have to live in a home, and I don't need home care yet. I'm still at the point where I could still at least look after myself, even though it's difficult to look after myself. I can still manage on my own so far. <laughs> That's why I keep saying so far, because I've had this condition almost three years now. So that's why I'm like, ah. But that's one thing that I liked about Life Plus Cindy, and I know some people who watched her channel came over to my channel because I talked about Life Plus Cindy a few times. And that's one reason why I liked her, was because she kept saying, if there's only one thing that you could do, just do that one thing, don't push yourself. And that's why I know, that's why I tried to do that for myself, the saying, if all I could do today is just the filming area and then eat, then that's good. If all I could do today was cook that one meal, which I did earlier, the eggplant, then that's all I could do, and then I got to take a rest. But that's one reason why I missed her. <laughs> and I didn't do those videos to, like, try to get more people to come to my channel or anything like that. It's literally because I was sad that she was gone, and I just wanted to say that. Because I can't watch TV. All I do is watch YouTube, <laughs> sadly. Um, and I haven't found anyone similar to her yet. Although, I am really hooked on um, Lately Toasted. So if you're looking for a new channel to check out. Um, it's Amberlyn's ex. And I don't really like Amberlyn. I didn't even know who she was. But, now I do. <laughs> and Destiny is her ex. So she has her own channel called Lately Toasted. And I've been watching her a lot. So, um, that's the channel that I've been really into lately. Um, I think she's pretty cool. Uh, even though she's um, engaged <laughs> and she's gay. I still think she's pretty awesome, so I like watching her. <laughs> but I'm straight. Um, because I did get that mark, too, like a few times. I, since I was talking about Life Plus and Day, they're like, Oh, it's weird that you're in love with a YouTuber. I'm like, no, it's not. How is that any different than watching a TV show? <laughs> so, yeah, I don't know. Anyways, I'm rambling on now because I'm tired, but I just wanted to say that because I know a lot of people are like, oh, you talk about Life Plus Cindy just so you could get your subscribers. I'm like, no. <laughs> the whole reason why I did it was because I was also worried and I know other people worried and nobody's talking about it. So I feel like I should talk about it because I talked about her a lot on my channel. Since I started watching her, so yeah. But if you're a life person, you had and you came to my channel, thank you. Um, I know we're not similar, but kind of are in a way, kind of not. <laughs> um, because I do daily vlogging and I have um, I know a shaking condition. Several disabilities, life with cats, life with medication, so I did daily vlogging, so nobody suffers alone. That's, that's my take on it. Um, 
Also, I do ghost stories, so that's why I said I have all these ghost books. So I'm going to try to get back into that next week, hopefully. Uh, we'll see how my condition is. Because I really do miss it, and I have, like, all these books. <laughs> so it's like, i got to start reading it again. But, um, <clears throat> and there's also, like, the story, like, crime stuff I'm really into lately. So I really want to do the story on Charlie Heiger, which uh, I was talking about earlier. So he was basically a baseball player that was really, really popular for a while and for some reason he killed his ex-girlfriend and then he killed himself like a day or two later and I think it's because he stopped playing baseball and he just lost it but I don't know like the whole story and nobody like ever really goes into detail about the story and nobody talks about Charlie they only talk about her and it's like but he did so much for baseball and he was a knuckle knuckleball <laughs> the knuckleball pitcher but <clears throat> that's why i stopped um liking baseball was because i just got too attached to baseball players and then after that happened i was like uh my love for baseball died after that <laughs> which is kind of weird but not just him there's also um other baseball players like Tim Lincecum, he had to retire, and then but now he's a motivational speaker, which is kind of surprisingly. <laughs> he played for the San, San Francisco Giants, so I still love baseball. It's just that, yeah, I just got too emotionally attached to the players, and then yeah, it just I just never thought felt the same after that happened because I followed his career from the beginning. <laughs> so I don't know if you guys know who he is, but he played for the LA Dodgers. But yeah, it's just tragic that nobody, there's like no real info like why all that happened. So I'm still trying to find more info. So if you guys know anything, let me know. But all that they say is that they just killed his girlfriend his ex-girlfriend and then he killed himself with no reason behind it and like why all that stuff happened but <laughs> I still I know I'm not saying it's right that he killed somebody but obviously he needed help and he just didn't get it and tragically thing that happened but he's still one of my favorite baseball players, and yeah. But I've been getting asked that a lot because it's summer almost, so people are like, how come you're not into baseball? I'm like, that's why. <laughs> my love for baseball died when Charlie died. Trey Hager died, so uh, yeah. It's just, just not the same. Um, and ten. Tim left baseball and then all my favorite players I'm like I don't know who any of the players are anymore so and it's just hard for me to sit through like even an hour shows so to sit through like a half hour I mean a half hour a five hour baseball game <laughs> it's it's rough so it's also my condition um but I still love baseball like I still put it on in the background and I still have all my baseball stuff Still love Jackie Robinson. He's one of my favorite baseball players. I still kind of want to do some like uh, ghost stories on like haunted baseball stadiums and stuff like that. It's just trying, trying to uh, get motivated <laughs> and do stuff. It's extremely difficult when you have a condition and disabilities. So. Um, hopefully I'll get there soon though. Um, that's why I like talking about it because I'm like, there's so many things I want to do. I just can't do it. So one day, one day I'll get to it. But at least the filming area is done. So yeah, I still love baseball. It's just not, not the same as it was because of that tragic. <laughs> 
Uh, I am into grind though, like still and history and all that stuff. So yeah, it's just weird. Anyways, I am gonna get ready for bed. I think because I'm rambling. I'm starting to get tired and it's kind of hard to stand right now. So again, it's because of my condition. So yeah, we'll see um, how much I get done because I think I'm going to try to go to the bank today. I'll just go bring in the pop bottles and then go to the bank to get that form filled out and then come back home and see how much stuff I could do. So we'll see. I just take it day by day though. So, I don't know what I'm talking about, seriously. <laughs> I'm just so tired. So, I'm going to go back to bed soon, but I'm just feeling really good because at least I got something finally done that I've been wanting to work on, which is the filming area. So, stay tuned. Eventually, more videos will come. And, um, yeah, just remember you're not alone. There's always somebody out there that's going through what you're going through. And like I said, I know people who are on medication who sleeps like two, three days straight, which kind of sucks. So if it wasn't for my cats, I'd probably be doing the same. So I'm very thankful for my cats. I'm very thankful for all my friends and family and people who watch my channel because they do <laughs> and yeah I'm just gonna keep on trying keep on fighting and hopefully you enjoy my haunted world so welcome to my haunted world xoxo og upper middle east